You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports. Well, we have been banging this drum for a very long time 18 months, maybe at least about the biological advantages of a male versus a female athlete. And I have said over and over again, especially as you would see fe uh, females have to compete potentially in MMA or in boxing or something like that, eventually a female athlete was going to get injured because the opponent was a biological male. Well, in North Carolina, it has happened involving a female volleyball player that has been injured, okay, given a severe concussion, head, neck injuries, uh, issues with vision, and it has prompted the school to ban all future games against the opposing school because they have a biological male. Bigger, stronger, faster, okay? Testosterone. Connective tissues, joints, ligaments, all going to be superior. Arm length, generally speaking, may be, may be an advantage. Um, and, and so never mind the competitive advantages, which are just glaring right out in front of you, but there is a safety concern. I've said over and over again, eventually we are going to have a Yvonne Drago, Apollo Creed situation involving a female versus a biological male. It is dangerous. It is. Let's get to this. Wow. This is a developing story. This is the post-millennial. North Carolina female volleyball player injured by trans competitor. Future games with opposing school canceled. I'm sure I'm going to butcher this high school's name, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. Following an injury to a female player at a high school volleyball game last month, Caused by a biologically male athlete, a school board in North Carolina has blocked further games with the school, citing student safety concerns. During a tournament, Hawass Hawassi Dam High School student was hit in the face with a ball sent over the net by a Highlands High School student. According to the Education First Alliance, the Hawassi student, a biological girl, received Severe head and neck injuries as a result of the incident, which has given the player a long-term con long concussion symptoms, including problems with vision. Wow, my God. The girl has yet to be cleared for play by the physician or neurologist. In a 5-1 to one vote, the Cherokee County Board of Education canceled all remaining games against Highlands High due to the injury and declared it, quote, a safety issue. No kidding. Education First Alliance wrote that the perspective of a longtime coach swayed the Cherokee board member Joe Wood. I'll never put a child in a position to be seriously injured. I think the odds of injury in these non-contact sports aren't high. But in particular, in this meeting, a coach of 40 years said they'd never seen a hit like this. That was really what sealed my decision, at least on my part. The coach noted that they had never seen a hit like this before. The competitive advantage issue certainly has come up in any scenario with that type of transgender conversion, per se. Uh, said board vice Jeff Martin, I can tell you that the board wasn't searching out this kind of thing. It was brought to our attention on safety concerns. Speaking in regards to the transgender student board member, Jeff Tannum said the biggest thing for us, especially after seeing the video of the injury, we felt very strongly that it was a safety concern. I think most of the board members also felt that there was a competitive advantage issue. According to the Cherokee scout, Tannum and Martin said that the majority of the board members felt the biological male athletes presents a, quote, competitive advantage issue. Cherokee County School Superintendent Gina Conley said that, quote, we have had the student who, in a prior competition with Highland, has received a concussion and has, have, has had to have several neurological visits and their medical journey is not over yet. 
So that kind of spawned discussions about safety with the board. It was important that school board members, specifically Jeff Tannum, James Ellis, and Dr. Jeff Martin, that the board be the one to take the decision off the shoulders of the schools, even though some students at a couple of schools were really adamant that they wanted to play. The coaches at Murphy were adamant that they wanted to play. Describing the incident, Tatum said he was told the ball was traveling at an estimated 70 miles per hour. Quote, I don't know if that's faster than normal, but it seemed like it was coming off very fast, abnormally fast. It not only hit her in the face, then the ball came off of her face with enough force to get then go back through the net. Wow. So here we are. Here we are. Exactly what we have been talking about. We were going to mess around, and in some sport, a female athlete was going to be injured directly because of a biological male competing against a female. In this case, obviously, a biological male is hitting a volleyball with much more force and impact than the majority of female athletes. Not only a competitive advantage, but obviously a safety concern. I give the school credit for blocking future games with the school, but these school boards across the country have got to take a look at this. Universities, too. You're going to end up, and what's going to happen is somebody's going to get injured more severely than this, and then they're going to get hit with a monstrous lawsuit. A monstrous lawsuit. What it's probably going to take is something like, for example, Penn University, where Leah Thomas was swimming, okay, and breaking these NC2A records and preventing females from truly uh, being able to reach the level that they were supposed to reach, uh, you're eventually going to have some sport where a female is injured so badly at a university that the university is hit with like a $100 million lawsuit. And it's going to get very public and very ugly. And in these combat sports where some of these lesser federations and organizations are allowing, you know, a biological male to fight a female MMA fighter, somebody's going to get really hurt there. Somebody's going to get really, really hurt. Wow. We will, uh, we will monitor this, I assure you. It's happened. There it is. Further neurological tests, severe concussion, issues with vision, and it could have been worse. It could have been worse. It really could have. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.